Okay, we're back on the air here at beautiful Moose Raceway in Second Life. We'll be racing the uh, what they call the classic uh, layout here for the uh, Moose Racetrack, and it's uh, always a great one to start out the season. Okay, so I guess the way uh, Moto SL Racing works is we'll have uh, groups of uh, five racers, or yeah, five racers going up to the final race, and then we have two racers that advance into the uh, the final race. And let's see, we're now we've got just about everybody sized up. <laughs> the field is sized up. And we're going to go ahead and get some qualifying here uh, real soon. We're just waiting for a count. Uh, let's see. I think we're going to have uh, 28 possible uh, people queued up. That'd be great. And then uh, we'll be doing uh, qualifying groups, uh, four racers apiece. And, uh, and uh, we're going to start this first round of qualifying here. As we come around, uh, we've got... Racers are fairly well spread out. The top five are Holden, Crippy, Rico, Annie, and Jaffo. We see a lot of Archer there for some reason. All right, group two is going to be Susie, Ford, Stang, Gray, Just. Group three, Josefina, Sula, Yamaha, Abacus, Hakuna. Group four, Bikey, John, Fox, Shimei, Molly Fitzgerald. And then we've got 22 qualifiers. And we've got Johnny Gears and Millennium Sands is the one that makes it in under the pummel. Unfortunately, uh, bad news for Zia, Asher, Speed is Life, Medina, and Ratra. And so it's all about the skill here in uh, race in uh, Moto SL racing. Okay, Holden Sanders for ZT Racing is going to take on the grid position, and he's going to be our motor rider, Moto SL rider to watch for today. Three, two, one, and the gates are down. Holden gets a nice whole shot out there. He's pursued by two Archer racers coming into the first pit turn. Oh, one of the Archer racers looks like Crippio. Got an advantage, got around on the outside. Coming through th turn four. Now turn five and six. Holden is still trying to hold on to that inside. Oh my, and let's see who, oh, who's coming up there? All right, that's, uh, Andy has moved up into second position. Who came in first? Let's see, coming across. Eureka is the, is the surprise when he came through there. I would have sworn that would have been grippy, but Eureka gets through there first. And he makes a nice move on that final uh, turn eight in the group and gets out into the lead. All right. It looks like Annie's going to come through the gate first this time, followed by Eureka. Does it look like Crippio? And oh, let's wait till I actually see the gate. All right. Annie moves through first. Eureka second. Crippio third. Hold into the third. Fourth, Jaff Otenda is into fifth, Susie Cudahy is sixth, Josephina Gears into seventh. We got seven fast racers out here. This is fast racing. It looks like Crippio has moved ahead of Annie there, coming through there. Everybody got a little bit crossed up coming through the pit corner. And coming through is Annie still holding down first position. No! Rico moves into first position, puts down Annie into second position, about a second behind. Then we got Jaffo moves up into third position, Susie into fourth. Now Crippio falls to fifth. Josefina has moved up to sixth. Holden, who's, who's had the pole, has moved into seventh position and still challenging and racing hard up here. And then all these positions are going to change this lap around. So here we come around. Holden got kind of pushed back there. He's got open track behind him, so he's kind of stuck out there alone. But Annie moves back up into first position. Rico into second. Jaffo into third. Susie into fourth. Crippy's back in fifth. Josefina is still fighting Crippy for sixth position. And Holden has kind of got uh, shuffled back there into seventh position. Okay, and as we come across for this next lap, 
Ann, Annie on lap five, Eureka, Jaffo, Susie, Crippio, and then Josefina in sixth position. Holden Sanders is uh, about 11 seconds behind the leader, so about half a lap. And let's see, oh, what happened there? Did Susie move up? Okay, coming around, here we go. Another big crash. And how are we going to come across here? Eureka still manages to hold down first position. Jaffo's in the dirt. Andy and Jaffo mix it up. Set move Susie in the second position. Andy into third. Jaffo into fourth. Josephina into fifth with a chance to pass both Jaffo and Andy coming around there because uh, Jaffo and Andy got into each other and were both crossed up there and still got their pegs uh, you know, you know, heated up. Okay, that was played well for Jack Holden, who moved up into sixth position. All right, and Rico gets through the gate on lap seven first, followed by Annie Jaffo, Josephina, just that quick, and then Susie into fifth position. Crippy has been shuffled back down in sixth. Holden, unfortunately, still back in seventh position. All right. Oh, looks like Eureka got crossed up there. That puts Annie into first position. Let's see what we got coming through the gate again. This is lap nine. Okay, Holden and Crippy get into it. And uh, that moves Crippy back into, and Holden is charging into sixth position. Kind of lost my place on the, uh, the way that everything's got shuffled around here. And here comes Eureka through the gate in first position, followed by Annie. Uh, about five seconds behind her, and then Josefina has moved up uh, two positions uh, over Jaffo and Susie. Crippy in seventh, can you believe it? Holden Sanders in sixth position on lap nine. So Crippy is a, a lap down. We'll see how that plays out. Lap ten, Eureka gets across the line first, followed by Annie, then Josefina, then Jaffo, hot on the heels of Josefina, and then Susie. And then here we go with Crippy in seventh position, something that you never ever see. Holder Sanders in sixth position. Uh, this is ugly. Another off by, uh, off track for. Uh, oh boy, I tell you, we've got some uh, real lag and some real off track excursions here. This, the wet conditions are just uh, uh, just uh, just getting horrible out there. And a lot of bikes getting laid down, and uh, it's just. Uh, making positions change all over the position place. All right, here we go. Lap 12 coming around. Let's see if we could. Eureka still holds on to first position. Andy is closing in. Oh, now only two seconds behind in second position. And then Jaffo Tendes has got out ahead of both Susie and Josephina there. But then again, I saw somebody else lay it down on that lap, and we'll see how it comes across again this time. Crippio is still lapped down, but uh, maybe be able to come up here and challenge. Uh, Jaffo got past there. Eureka in still first position. Uh-oh. Jaffo has passed Annie, and Annie is right on top of Jaffo. These two are fighting it out, and Susie is sitting there waiting to capitalize if one of these two racers slip as they come through. That puts Josephine into fifth position. Crippio is still in sixth, and uh, of course Eureka has won the race. Gets out there about three seconds ahead of Jaffo. Jaffo just edges Annie about by about a second, and Susie close behind. That puts Josefina into fifth position. That will put uh, Holden into sixth position and Crippio into seventh position. Now what a race! There it is. Yuriko Nishi for Archer Racing crosses the line first. All right, we're going to get up on our podium today, and we're going to see Eureka Nishi. It's going to take the uh, first Moto SL trophy for this week's race, White Spikes race, here at Moose. And then also on the podium is Jaffo Tendays, her teammate. Also is Annie Guffler, a rider for Ampro Racing.